Hey everybody, Bonnie Donahue here. I am really excited to share in this group and talk about something that I am really excited about. And it is growing fast in your doTERRA business and what does it really look like? So I built two diamond in five months, which the average time in doTERRA, I believe is two to three years. And so five months obviously is uh, fast you know, faster than the average, and um, Nikki Lynn, the one of the most amazing rock star leaders in the entire company, um, asked me to get in to this awesome group and share some of my takeaways and my tips and kind of getting real with you guys. So that is the, the topic of today's video, and I'm just gonna share from the heart and then also see if you guys have any questions for me. Um, but it was really cool when I was getting ready to do this video, I actually looked back some of my notes from right after I hit Diamond, I did another call with, an, with another team and they said share your takeaways, share what you did, how you grew fast and so these are the exact things that I was doing, um, the exact uh, you know mindset that I was in, mindset's really huge and I just want to share all of that with you guys. So, but before I begin, I just want to say one thing that there is no pressure to grow fast. You can grow at your own pace, right? Um, not everybody wants to grow fast. So some people are gonna wanna just take their time and go at their own pace and that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, welcome everybody. I see you guys getting on. Welcome. And if you guys have questions for me too, just let me know. Okay, hey guys. Okay, so again, I just wanna say you do not have to grow. Fast. I personally think it's a little bit more fun to grow fast, right? And if you can get to diamond in five months versus three years, um, I say go for it quicker, the better, right? Okay, so here are some of the things that I wrote down. And then I said, again, I, I I'll open it up to questions if you guys have any or in the comments because I'm really excited about this. And I'm also going to talk fast because I think Nikki said less than five minutes, right? Okay, so the first thing is you need to have a goal, right? I know you've heard this a hundred times. We all have heard it a hundred times. But if you do not have a goal of hitting a certain rank or enrolling a certain amount of people or whatever it is, it will not happen. Like success does not just come out of nowhere. It takes a lot of discipline, a lot of mindset, a lot of commitment, following through, all that. But you need to have like a goal and your eyes on the goal the entire time. You have to know what you're working toward, okay? Um, oh, I skipped a page, so I'm gonna go back here for one second, let me, no, I'll go back, I'll go back and forth. One, I know, again, this is simple to hear, right, but it, it, you have to keep your business simple, so you cannot get distracted at all. I used Share Success, the website, sharesuccess.com, for everything. Um, it was, I didn't have websites or, or your Facebook groups. I didn't have a Facebook page at the time. I had nothing except for um, the phone and share success. And so basically I did everything that the share success told you to do. I made my list of people. Then I got on the phone and I talked to these people. Okay. So um, for an example, I'll talk about Nikki since we're uh, in Nikki's group here. Um, what I did is I made my list and I starved the top people, right? Because we have the list of the people that we're looking for. They're women, ages 35 to 45, supportive spouse, natural minded, entrepreneurial minded, influential, and a money need, right? So you have your list of seven things you're looking for. Then you star the things that, the people that you really want to partner with, okay? So Nikki was one of my people. Like, oh, she's an awesome rock star. She's successful. She's uh, you know, talented, she is business minded, she can get everything done, right? So you, when you look at a person, you're like, okay, I know they're a seven out of seven or whatever, five, six or seven out of seven, you, you contact them. So what I did is I hadn't talked to Nikki. We were, we were friends for 12 years. Um, I knew her, her sister was my boss and my next door neighbor. And so I, I knew Nikki and we were pregnant together. Then we fell off the planet and we got connected again through Facebook. And we just, you know, started growing our relationship over the past couple of years just through Facebook. Um, but I hadn't talked to her in a long time. But I'm like, I want to partner with this girl because she's amazing, right? And we all have people that we know that we're like, we want to work with this person. Um, so I messaged her on Facebook, and it was just a message saying, 
first I was doing it wrong. I was just saying, hey, how are you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect. That's not gonna get you anywhere. She did not reply, right? Because she's so busy with her life and being successful and homeschooling and all her family and all that. But then I changed it up and I said, hey, I have something I want to run by you. Can we get on the phone? Then she replied back right away. She's like, yes. And I said, Tuesday or Thursday, whatever time we got on the phone, okay? Um, so I took all my conversations off of Facebook, okay? Um, got on the phone. That is the important thing. You have to make that one-on-one -on -one connection. And I did this with everybody. Every single person that I enrolled with, I got on the phone with them, and I had that list. I was very specific about what I was going to say. And my goal of that conversation, of that first con the first conversation, was to tell them I want them on my team, to tell them what I'm doing, who I'm looking for, and to schedule another call with them. It was not to verb or uh, verbally <laughs> throw up on them, right? All the things that I'm going to be doing with them, and DoTerra, and this and that. Oils are life changing, and I I kept it very simple. And the whole thing was, hey, this is what I'm doing starting a business, I'm looking for a certain person, you're that kind of person, here's why you're that person, and would you be open to having another conversation? That is it. So you again, you keep it simple, but I knew exactly what I was gonna do when I was doing it. Um, she was flattered that I asked her, and then she said yes, she would have another conversation. Um, before we even got to that conversation, she said no, it's not for me. Um, she was about to have her eighth baby, and there's just no time. I'm like, okay, right? So. You get no's, you get no's all the time. Um, but part of the other thing that I was gonna say is when I had a, a system, right, and I kept track, but also you do not give up and you don't give up on people, right? So just, because this is interesting, I'll continue on Nikki's story, because some of you guys know this, some of you don't. Um, when you have somebody that you really want, <laughs> like I really wanted Nikki, um, you, do, you, you don't just stop there. They say no, so what, who cares? That's just no right now. That's all that means, okay? So don't let it mess with your mind when someone says no to you. So I invested into her, okay? So I said, oh my gosh, you know, I think you love the oils. I didn't ask for anything. I didn't ask her to post about it. I didn't ask her to write a review or anything. I just said, I'm just gonna send you oils. Well, I ended up sending her a kit. You don't have to do this. And she's the only one I've done this with, only because I just had this feeling about her. But I sent her the diffuser the essential life book and the kit, okay? So I'm like, basically, I'm like, here's all, everything you need to get started. Not knowing what she was gonna do with it. She loved the oils. And I said, you also get a free consultation with this kit, right? And so then the consultation, cause she was already using and loving the oils, turned into a business call. And that was months later, months later. And then I said, Let's do a three-way call. And then that's when you get them on the phone with your upline. We did a three-way call. She said yes, okay? Then she became silver in her first month, gold in her second month, and platinum in her third month, okay? So, I mean, that, that whole span was months of time. So you don't give up on people, but I kept it simple. I kept, you know, on top of it, or following up, organizing. Anyway, that's not the whole point of this call this uh, video, but I'm like, everyone loves to hear um, a good story. So anyway, um, you cannot give up on people, okay? But you have to know what you're doing. So um, I had a plan of what I was gonna do, okay? And with her, and they don't always work out that way. Um, but what I have on my paper is three-way calls. Know the business plan, okay? So know what you are doing. Know the compensation plan. Um, there's there's information on the sure success. I know Nikki has amazing videos. I posted some videos. There's videos out on YouTube. Um, you have to know it. It took me probably about five times of hearing it, and then me explaining it a couple of times until I, until I really understood it. So if you don't get it the first time, you need to invest some more time into learning it. Um, one thing I did too. When you're gonna go grow fast, like for me, I went all in, that was full-time hours. I work part-time hours now, but in the beginning, it was full-time hours. Uh, and I told my family, I said, hey guys, I have this goal, it's a big goal, and um, I'm gonna need your help. I told my, my kids, I have four kids, I told my husband, I even pulled my, my mother-in-law, the month I went diamond, I had my mother-in-law come live with us for a, a, a month, and I said, I need help, I need help with cooking and laundry, and picking up the kids from school and homework because I need to hit this goal. That's how important it was to me. Um, and then once I hit that goal, I never reverted back. 
it's only continued to grow. So for me, I knew that was gonna be an investment in my time. Um, and so we did it, my whole family knew. It wasn't just like, hey guys, I'm just doing the side gig. It was like, this is it, it's happening, it's a big goal, and I need your support. And if they weren't supportive, I, I wouldn't be able to do it, right? So if you are wrestling with the, with the idea of growing big and going fast, you need to get support. You need to get help, you get, get help. Like I have um, HelloFresh that I use for my meals. I have a maid that comes every other week. I have a lawn service that comes every week. I don't, I don't do everything myself. You have to get help where it's needed, right? Um, and you delegate, okay? Um, and think, you delegate things on your team too, okay? So you can, you're only one person, but when you have a goal, you have priorities, everything else, you figure it out, okay? Um, you have to believe in yourself, okay? Because if you do not believe you can do this, you won't do this, right? Um, another thing that I learned from a social media expert years ago is claim your fame. So no one's gonna tell you you're famous, like internet famous or business famous or whatever. You need to go and claim your fame. Okay, same thing when you're doing an oil class. Just claim that you know what you're talking about, even though you don't, right? Or you're just, you, if you just got started, right? I had no idea what I was doing when I first got started with oils. And you just act like you do, and then people say, oh, she knows what she's doing, okay? And they do the same thing. Um, you make your decision. It's kind of like getting your goal. You're just done. Like, I don't say I'm, I'm like when I started in September, I said I'm hitting, Jan in January I'm hitting diamond and that's it. There was no waiver, there was no I'm gonna try, it was I'm doing it. And I posted it on Facebook. Every time I posted it on Facebook, I said I'm hitting diamond in January, right? So it kept me accountable and people were watching and I wanted that story, right? So the story is what I wanted more than anything because I wanted that story to say, I could do this, you can do this. So for me, it wasn't even about myself. Like I'm really into inspiring other people, but if I can't do it, I can't expect other people to want to join me and to do it the same way. So for, for me, I'm like, it starts with me. I want to do it, so I will um, inspire others so that they can do it, but also success attract success. So if I want to attract successful people, I need to be successful, right? Um, so it just starts with you, your decision, um, affirmations. So I was not a believer in affirmations when I first heard of them and now I'm obsessed. I can tell in my own life when I'm doing them or versus not doing them, I could feel it, right? Same thing like daily prayers, affirmations, but with my affirmations, um, so I hit my first month I was silver, second month I was silver, just hit gold, it was like, just, or just short of gold. Then I hit gold, held that for two months, then I was platinum for one month, and then diamond. So, um, and platinum was my hardest month, I think, actually. Um, but it was also New Year's Eve, so that was hard uh, doing things at night. But what I would go running, okay, because this is not part of it, but you need to be doing self-care as you're growing your business, right? Because you can't be falling apart as you're trying to promote health, right? Um, I would go running, and every time I was running, I had like John Maxwell in my ear, or some sort of motivational book or podcast. I filled my head with it, and as I was running, I'm like, I easily hit diamond. I easily hit diamond every month. You know, I easily hit platinum. Whatever month I was going, whatever I was going for, I, I easily hit that every month. That was my my replay. And I didn't just say the words, like I could see the words in my like vision. It was very weird, but um, I'm like, I don't know how this is happening, but I'm gonna do it. Sorry, I have to drink a lot of water. Okay. Um, I also put the rank chart on my wall. So there's the rank chart. It's purple. I Google imaged, searched it. Um, I don't know where it is. You can probably find it somewhere on, on doTERRA, but that was my screensaver. That was a screensaver on my phone, on my computer, and I printed it out and had it on my wall in my room. So it was like, you know, I don't remember what rank they start. Silver shows you the three, and then it shows you the president, or platinum, and then diamond, you have the four, you know, so I could just look at it. I'm like, okay, I looked at it every day. Okay, um, let's see, I was in a mastermind class, John Maxwell, mastermind class, um, but I was also reading slash listening to one or two books a, a month. Now I'm about one a week or two a week because um, I'm obsessed. But I made sure your self-development um, and growth, 
that was top priority. Um, you're always working on yourself more than you're working on anyone else, right? Um, you have to believe in your team, okay? So you believe in your team just as much as you believe in, in yourself, and sometimes they don't feel it yet, so you have to um, help them believe in themselves. Okay, then celebrate every success. So if I had a win, we're celebrating with my family, with my kids, we're having a special dinner, we're doing things because I wanted them to um, feel the success with me and they're excited, they're rooting me on, right? You know, you gotta do that. Um, I have a couple other things um, that I'm doing. Oh, so one other thing. So I, for daily activities, I reached out to people every day, did not um, miss a day, right? Get comfortable with getting uncomfortable. You're gonna do a lot of things that you don't like doing. <coughs> See me, I'm like getting, <coughs> part of my story is my Lyme disease. <coughs> and this is like the first time I'm getting my Lyme disease cough in like a year or so. I used to get this every two weeks. Anyway, I can read my story in my blog. But anyway, when I first started doing these videos, I was like so freaked out about doing a video. It was like, I talked about it in my mastermind class. I'm like, I don't wanna do a video. I don't wanna do a video. And now I do the videos all the time. Wait, right, so you gotta get comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, <coughs> one, oh, one thing I did last year, again, I did the calls nonstop. Last December, well, I did through December through January, I did over 100 samples. That means I sampled over 100 people, sampling them and following up with them. That was killer, but that got me from platinum. One of the things, from platinum to diamond, was all those sampling. And so, see, what I did is I had a sheet. Now, you don't always need a sheet, but I had to sign up a sheet just because by that point I had some following on social media. But I had them sign up for what they wanted. I don't totally recommend that because it's like sometimes they don't know what they want. But what I did do is there are certain people that I wanted to connect with and I wanted to sample them. So I just messaged them and said, hey, I'm sampling 100 women this month and I you know, thought of you because, and I let them know why I thought of them. And, and like, as can I send you a sample, okay? Um, that worked for me. Not everybody wanted a sample. So I asked them like, do you want one? Some of them said, I'm already users, or my sister sells it, or I'm happy with my oils I'm using, or they said, yes, I've been wanting oils. So that was just one way that I'm like, you know what, when you need people, go out and find them. Um, they're not gonna come to you. Like even still today, I have a huge following. They, I don't just have all these people sign up. You have to go and do the personal development, the personal work, the connection, the relationship building. But anyway, so I sampled 100 people in one month. Last since it's, um, we're getting closer to December right now, but one of the things that Elise Sedevi told me to do was to give every single person peppermint brownies for Christmas. Um, and so I think I gave out, she said, 50, she, gave out, she said give out 50 samples, or 50 plates of peppermint brownies in December with peppermint and then peppermint samples. And so I didn't do 50 because I didn't know 50 people. We had just moved there. Um, so that's when I got the idea of sanding them out. So. Christmas is coming up, that's a great way to sample people. Um, let me see on my list here, and I'm gonna look at your guys' questions to see if you guys have any questions, but I think the, and I'm talking way too long, but the moral of the call, I think, to get across, um, if you want to grow fast, one, you need to work on yourself, make a decision, and then you need to go all in. Okay, because you can't go halfway in, because that is, that's the same as going slow, right? So, um, if you want it, you do it. And again, this is not gonna be for everybody. So this, this call, or video, whatever you wanna call it, is for the people that do want it, and they want it to know what it really takes. Um, in December, the month I went diamond, I was probably working at least 12 hour days at least, maybe even more. I woke up working and went to bed working. That's when I had my mother-in-law in there. Um, I signed up, I don't even know how many, 30 to 40 people that month, my own. Um, it was insane. I was on the phone 
if someone messaged me on Facebook, I said, let's get on the phone. And I Facebook messaged them, uh, or Facebook video, or audio, because I had people from Canada or wherever. Then you could just get on. It's free international. I got. I made sure I was a crazy person. <laughs> I had my list. Everybody who wanted to talk to me, and I made sure I talked to every single person. Uh, made up specials whenever possible just to close the deal. Um, anyway, I hope this is helping, you guys. I know it's longer than um, Nikki probably wanted. I hope it helped you guys because if you want to go fast, just go for it and do it because my business has never gone down. It's only kept going up, you know, so I put in a lot of work in the beginning, um, but you do the work once and you get paid forever. So if you're at the point in your life where that's exactly what you need, you don't mind the hustle. It is a hustle. You don't mind the hard work. Um, investing in yourself and in a network marketing business the right one, obviously doTERRA, um, it will change your life. And we've been blessed um, tremendously with the abundance that doTERRA has brought into our life. And we are very, very, very thankful for everybody that's on our team. And so my hope is that this will inspire someone else to go out and to do it if they want, right? Um, but just also to know that you can do it, but also to be real, it's not easy, simple, but not easy. Um, but if you feel like you're called to do this and you want to do this, to do it because it can change your life, it can change your future, and it could change a lot of other people, thousands of people that you don't even know, um, you could change their life. So hope this helps you guys. You guys are awesome. You're on a great team. I'll tell you, Nikki is amazing. And I think you guys already know that. She will work harder than anyone else. She believes in everybody. Um, she has really high goals for her family. And she cares about everybody on her team, like, way into their soul. Like, she wants everyone to be successful. Um, and not just for the monetary, you know, success, but just success in women believing in themselves, to being the best versions of themselves. You know, that's what we really want. And um, and Nikki will match all efforts. Um, I mean, she, you see the kind of work that she puts out. She's all in. And she puts out amazing work. And um, anyway, you guys are very blessed to be on her team. Um, I'm blessed to have her. Like, she's awesome. So, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions. You guys can all do this. Okay, um, you all have what it takes. You just do it. All right, bye guys, have a great day.